So what's going on guys, Kade is here and welcome back to a brand new video. For today we are taking a closer look at the top 5 best 50 vs 50 war builds in New World. So first things first I will explain for each build what weapon combinations you want to use, then which abilities you want to choose, where do you want to spend your attribute points, what gear should you wear and much more. And most importantly I will show you the best builds for DPS, tanks and even healers. So, if you're looking to use the best and most powerful build to either way help out your teammates or be the number one guy on the leaderboards with the highest skills and highest damage, then this is the video for you. So, with all this said, let's get right into it. Then, moving over to the first build, which is the one and only Ice Gauntlet and Fire Staff. And these are the attributes you want to have. So first of all, for each build I will give myself 400 points to spend. But these points are not only the ones you can use after each new level, but as well the attributes you want to have on your gear. So if you start from level 0, first things first you get your intelligence up to 200 or 250 at least. And then start building constitution. But around level 60 and in general you want to have this 3 to 1 ratio. So when you have 300 intelligence you have 100 constitution and so on and so forth. And last but not the least, for our gear we go full light armor. And now let's move over to the first weapon, which is the Ice Gauntlet. And these are the weapon masteries you won't have. So at the start I would suggest to unlock all these three perks. And then unlock the first ability, called the Ice Storm. Then from here you take a closer look at the other side and unlock this perk. And then unlock the second ability, called the Ice Shower. And then get the next perk to him. And lastly unlock the third ability and then again go over to the other side and unlock all the selected perks to get this ultimate chill. And then afterwards you're feel free to spend your points in whichever order you like. So now let's move over to the second weapon which is the fire staff. And these are the weapon masteries you want to have. So first things first you want to unlock this perk. And then this first ability called the meteor shower. And then these next three perks to that. Then unlock the second ability called the fireball. And then the next two perks to him as well. And now let's move over to the other side and unlock this perk. And then last but not the least unlock this third ability. And then get these all 4 perks. And now from here you're feel free to choose in whatever order you want. And then as for my final conclusions for this build. So this is by far the best mage slash range DPS build. Which will do massive amounts of AOE damage. Which is exactly what you want in a 50 vs 50 war. And even just in general open world PvP. So in few words, if you're looking for the best DPS build to be the number one spot for the highest skills and damage done, then this is the one for you. So enjoy! So then moving over to the second build which is the sword with shield and warhammer. And these are the attributes you want to have. So first of all this is a full tank build and that is why we want to wear full heavy armor and split all 4 stats to have. So have 50% into strength and 50 in constitution. And around level 60 you should have 200 strength and 200 constitution. So then taking a closer look at the first weapon which is the sword with shield. And these are the weapon masteries you want to have. So first things first, if you start from level 0, you want to unlock the first ability, called the Whirling Blade. And then unlock this next perk. Then afterwards unlock the second ability, called the Reverse Stab. And then these two next perks to that. Then now we want to take a closer look at the other side and unlock all these four perks. And then lastly unlock this last third ability, with these two perks as well. And then from here you're feel free to pick and choose which perks and abilities you want to unlock next. So now let's move over to the second weapon, which is the one and only Warhammer. And these are the weapon masteries you want to have. So first things first, unlock this first ability, called the Clear Route. And then these four next perks. Then unlock the second ability, called the Shockwave, and these two next perks. And then lastly, unlock this last third ability, and then these two perks to that as well. And again from here, you're feel free to choose in whatever order you like. So now for my final conclusions for this build. In 50 vs 50 wars, there are a bunch of different tank builds that are viable and good to use. But if you're looking to be super tanky and still do a lot of damage, but most importantly, do CCs to the enemy players and hold points, then this is the build for you. So what are you waiting for? Try this build out and have fun! Then moving over to the third build, which is the Live Staff and Ice Gauntlet. And these are the attributes you won't have. So first of all, you want to get your focus to at least 150. But I would recommend to get it to 200 or even 250. And then start building your constitution. And around level 60 you should have 300 focus and 100 constitution. And for this build you want to go with the full medium armor. 
And if by now you still can't tell this, this is right now the best healer build for 50 vs 50 wars. So then taking a closer look at the first weapon, which is the life staff. And these are the weapon masteries you want to have. So first things first, you want to unlock this first perk. And then the first ability called the sacred ground. And then afterwards unlock all these 4 perks. Then now let's move over to the other side and unlock this perk. Then unlock the second ability called the beacon with these two next perks as well. And then last but not the least, unlock the last third ability with these two perks. And now from this point you can unlock the selected perks in whichever order you like. So then with that said, let's move over to the second weapon which is the ice gauntlet. And these are the weapon masteries you want to have. At the start I would recommend to unlock all these three perks and then unlock the first ability called the ice storm. Then from here take a closer look at the other side and unlock this perk. And then unlock the second ability called the ice shower. Then get the next perk to him and lastly unlock the third ability. And then again go over to the other side and unlock all the selected perks to get this ultimate chill. And then afterwards you're full free to do it in whatever order you like. So now for my final conclusions for this build. As a healer, you're meant to be a support player, so you always want to stay in your team's backline and keep on using your life staff on points and most likely tanks, because they are most likely players to take damage. But with that in mind, when you are on cooldown for your life staff, just switch to the ice gauntlet and keep on using your abilities to attack or defend yourself. The best thing as well is that some of the abilities and perks we have selected will give you a lot of mana, so you will be able to keep on healing your teammates 24-7. So with all this said, if you're looking for the best healer build for Siege Wars, then here it is, so enjoy! Then, moving over to one of the last builds on the list, which is the Hatchet and Great Axe. And these are the attributes you want to have. So first of all, from the start you want to split all gear stats and new points to 50 and 50. So always have 50 strength and 50 constitution, and so on and so forth. This build is meant as a huge damage dealer, while being able to survive multiple people by yourself. And right now, this is one of the most overpowered builds ever. Not only for wars, but as well open world PvP, and much more. So then around level 60 you should have 200 strength and 200 constitution. And for your gear you want to go with the full heavy armor. So then taking a closer look at the first weapon which is the hatchet. And these are the weapon masteries you want to have. So first of all you want to unlock this berserk ability and then these two next perks. Then unlock the raging torrent ability with these two perks as well. But then from here let's go over to the other side and unlock these two perks. And then lastly get this last third ability with these three perks as well. And then from here you're full free to use and unlock the perks in whichever order you want. So then taking a closer look at the second weapon which is the Great Axe. And these are the weapon masteries you want to have. So first of all you want to unlock this Reap ability. Then afterwards unlock this perk and then get the second ability called the Charge. And now from here let's move over to the right side and unlock both these two perks. And lastly unlock this last third ability and then the next perk to that as well. And then from here you're full free to use and unlock the perks in whichever order you like. And then for my last and final conclusions for this build. So you are a tank DPS player which means that you will be always in the front line holding points and fighting in a melee combat. But not only you will be able to survive for very long, but as well throw a lot of damage debuffs and CCs to the enemies. Most importantly, with the Hatchet and Great Axe, you will get extra speed, so you will be able to charge in the fights very quickly. And not only that, but as well run away from choke points and come back to your healers for more health and much more. So if you were looking for one of the best tank slash DPS builds for New World, then here it is, so I hope you enjoy! So now for my last and final build I have the fire staff and bow. And these are the weapon attributes you want to have. So first things first you want to get your intelligence and dexterity up to 100 each. And around level 60 you should have 100 dexterity, 250 intelligence and 50 constitution. And this build is not meant to be a massive damage dealer. But it's meant to apply dots 24-7. So that's why for our bow I only chose AOE abilities that will poison multiple players. And then the same thing with the fire staff that will apply the burning effect to all targets and much more. And of course, last but not the least, as you are a DPS player, you want to use a full light armor. So then moving over to the first weapon, which is the fire staff. And these are the weapon masteries you want to have. So first of all, you want to unlock both these two perks and then the first ability called the fireball. And then these two next perks. Now from here, let's move over to the other side and unlock this perk. Then the second ability called the incinerate and then these three perks. Then last but not the least, unlock the last third ability and these two perks as well. And now from here you're full free to pick and choose which perks you want to unlock next. 
And with all this said, let's move over to the second weapon, which is the bow. And these are the weapon masteries you want to have. So first of all, you want to go for the first perk, then unlock the first ability called the Rain of Arrows, and then the next perk to him. Then afterwards, unlock the second ability called the Poison Shot, and then the next perk to him as well. And now, let's move over to the other side and unlock this last third ability, with these four perks as well. And from this point and onwards, you're feel free to choose which perks and abilities you want to unlock next. So now for my final conclusions for this build. I 100% believe that at least 2 or 3 of these bow and fire staff builds should be in every war team comp, and just having few players that are focused on applying dot damage will be super useful, especially if you want to destroy your enemies and as the attacking team capture all the points as fast as possible. So if you were looking for a strong 50 vs 50 war build then here it is. And with that said, I really do appreciate everyone for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions, feedback or different 50 vs 50 war builds that you would recommend to other players, then feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. And while you're doing that, please click like, subscribe and enable that notification bell, so this way you could support the channel and you won't miss any more amazing content from me. With all this said, you have an amazing day and I'll catch you in my next video, so take it easy, peace. Yo, I'm here for